Introducing first, standing at five foot two inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds, representing Onyx Jiu Jitsu, fighting out of Aurora, Colorado. Give it up for Jesse Wright. Another Colorado athlete, Jesse Wright. Yeah, Onyx is on. Jesse Wright making her way to the mat. I did the rash guard. Short set. She is ready for action. Okay. Her opponents. This purple belt stands at 4 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 110 pounds, representing global martial arts and fighting out of Tomball, Texas. Give it up for Miss Hope Holmes. Oh. Love the walkout music. From Tomball, Texas, Hope Holmes. Raised by the Wolves. Representing global martial arts as she prepares battle with Jesse Wright. Hope Holmes, ready for action. Referee Daniel Galvao in charge of this matchup here tonight. And this match is officially underway. 110 pound purple belt matchup here. Both look like they want to do some stand up. Hard call and tie by Hope. Lock it up, lock it up, lock it up. And Hope Holmes pulls guard, being aggressive, looking for the submission early, transitioning to leg lock early on. Jesse Wright answering back with a leg lock of her own. Now they're going for it early, Scott. This is an interesting entanglement. We'll see what they do with it. Hope Holmes working that from that upside down position. Jesse's got a good bite on that knee. She's gonna be able to pull it to, to a solid position. Looking to peel the legs. Interesting position for these two ladies. Referee Daniel Galval opts to bring the action back to the center. Here's the tricky part of making sure that they maintain position as they restart from the center. And this match continues. She's in DOA now, Jesse. This is a tight position here. Jesse Wright pushes it to 50-50. Oh, she's going for that heel hook, Scott. This is going to be a lot of torque on Hope's knee here. Ooh wee. Hope she's flexible. Typically, these ladies are at this weight class. But still, that's a lot to ask on any person's knee, regardless of how flexible you are. Just under five minutes left, so plenty of time. And all the while with defending her leg, Hope looking for some attempts for a submission as well. Finally gets her leg in a position where it's not under attack, but still entangled in that 50-50 position. Jessie's a little more safe here because of the way that her lock is. Not, neither one of her feet are available to be attacked. Good notation to point out. It could be hard, especially for our viewers at home, to understand who's at the advantage in a position like that. It's the name where it gets it 50-50. It's like you're just as much in control as your opponent is. Jessie in on an inside heel hook here. We'll see if she can create separation of those feet and get it. It's going to be close. 
Hope herself going for her own leg lock attack. Who's leg lock Jessie's got deeper. the better entanglement here. Yeah, I'm glad you clarified that, Scott. Again, Jesse in on the inside heel hook. This is going to be a huge benefit for her. It's a very technical battle here between these two ladies. They got plenty of time to work with it as well. Hope very calm. And Hope. Smart roll through here. Hope going for an attack of her own. Now Jesse's on top. Now they are finally out of that 50 50 position. Very technical jiu jitsu from these two ladies. Yeah, there was so much subtle movements in that 50 50 position that they were working for, the, for that opening three minutes. Front headlock now from Jesse. Looks like she's using this head and arm to pass. Good choice. Hope holding onto that ankle. A lot of arm fighting here from these two ladies. Jesse with that arm bar attempt from the back, but Hope keeping a solid base. Back take from Jesse. Gets both hooks in. Now belly attacking the rear naked choke. Got Hope belly down. She pretty much used the Kimura trap to take the back. Beautiful setup. Nice transition from Jesse. Enjoying back mount position on Hope Holmes. What's Hope's answer going to be for this? Jesse's looking a tad high there from that the angle that we have. And I think Hope was able to at least secure one hook out, putting her hips to the ground. Oh, I say that from this angle, I can see that Jesse has still has both hooks in. There we see a better shot of it. Hope is going to want to get to one side. There she goes. Now, as she gets to one side, she can attempt to undo the legs. Jesse with the chin strap. Yeah, trying to open up that neck. That's a rough position to be in. The difficulty about this position for Hope is, is that she's going to have to defend her neck while simultaneously using her legs to undo the locks. Oh, figure four now from Jesse. Jesse doing a great job of maintaining chest to back. She's going to have to move fast here if she's going to want to end this. Just under 20 seconds left. Does she have enough time? And Jesse Wright with a submission victory over Hope Holmes. Only 13 seconds left, Todd. Buzzer beater. Give it up for your winner, ladies and gentlemen, by rear naked choke, Jesse Wright. And Scott, that was one of those painful rear naked chokes. That was the one that was across the jaw, and I think she just had hope and just so much discomfort. Had her in the body lock with the legs, had her the rear naked choke across the jaw that Holmes had nowhere to go but just to tap. So credit to her for hanging in there as long as she did. But Jesse Wright, tonight is her night with the submission victory in a super tough matchup.